Hey there, thanks for watching my video. I'm here to show you guys how to bottle feed kittens. In case you've ever run across some abandoned kittens or for some reason they needed to be bottle fed and you couldn't find someone to help you out, um, these are some basics, very very basic uh, instructions and tips. So what you need is, depending on the size of the kitten, um, one of the little bottles there, you can pick those up at any store, even places like Walmart will carry them. Um, they have this nipple on them that some cats will accept and sometimes they just they won't uh, but what I recommend doing is when you get the nipple you want to cut the end off at an angle um, depending again on the size of the kitten if you have tiny kittens you want to cut a smaller hole and larger kittens you can cut a larger hole and this is how it looks up close and uh, these just unscrew And they're just a regular rubber, rubber nipple and like I said some cats won't accept them but uh, there are some other things you can get these are called miracle nipples the kittens tend to take these a lot easier but they're more expensive and a little bit harder to find you might have to look online to find these and they can attach to syringes like this which is great if you have very tiny kittens because it helps you really see how much they're eating so you can track their progress a little bit easier but you don't have to get those, you can just use these nipples. Um, also, the Miracle nipples will fit on these bottles if you just push the old nipple out of these bottles. And they come apart so that you can clean them, so you're supposed to do this. But anyways, you take the nipple out, and then you can fit this Miracle nipple on that nipple ring. So I'm just going to put this kitten down, so I can use both hands. and. Uh, the way you get this in, it doesn't look like it's going to fit and you'll, you'll think, oh, this is never going to fit, but it definitely does. You just push it in, into the small end here. And like I said, at first it's going to feel like it's not going to go in and I'm trying to stay in frame here and also watch what I'm doing. But just take your nails and push it in. If you don't have nails, just use maybe like a chopstick or something and you can push it down in there. And then you can see it's slowly making its way in. And then once you get to about that point, you can just push it and you can see it's in there really solid. Kittens who won't nurse from a bottle will often take these nipples anyway. So if you can't get your kitten to eat from a bottle, just switch to those nipples. That usually helps. And uh, this is what you would do to warm up the milk. The kitten formula, most formulas read the instructions, but most it's a one, port, one part formula to one, two parts water. Um, and that was just me showing you how the bottle, it, the nipple screws right on just like the normal nipples. And now before you feed the kitten, um, I usually do before and after, but you take some tissues and you just want to stimulate them to help them go potty. You could either turn them on their back and do it this way or hold them the other way around like this and come from underneath and help them go potty. And um, like I was saying with the milk, you just want to put it in the bottle, put it in a cup of hot water and let it warm up to body temperature. The best way to test it is just to let some drops hit your in the inside of your wrist. If it feels hot to you, it's going to feel hot to the kitten. It should just be warm. And then all you do is you just kind of support them. And these kittens have been nursing for a while, so all I had to do was put the bottle in her mouth and she starts to nurse. And this is just a cute little polydactyl kitten that I'm bottle feeding. And she eats really good. This is the smallest one in the litter. I'm just going to show you, let you watch her eat. The kittens will gener generally let you know when they're done. And I like to keep the bottle full and then that way they eat everything they want. I found that sometimes if they finish what's in the bottle but they're still hungry, if you refill the bottle and come back, sometimes they won't continue to nurse. It's like they, they realize, oh, I'm done and then they stop. But if the bottle was full, they would continue to nurse. So. I try to put more than what I think will be needed in the bottle. As she's drinking, you could see the sides of the bottle starting to collapse inward. You want to let the cats nurse, you know, they're just by themselves. You don't want to squeeze the bottle or do anything like that to help them along because you can actually cause them to like asphyxiate. 
you don't want to um, you don't want to hurt them. So just let them nurse. If the bottle starts to cave in on the sides, just let it. It'll pop right back out. Um, you can also use larger syringes. Those two that I have are too small to use for these kittens because they're getting to the point where they're starting to get starting to eat food. They don't need to nurse as often. Um, so when they do nurse, they eat quite a lot, and it's more than will fit in the syringe. And there you see she's done. She finished all on her own. And then what I do is I just put this back in the cup to keep it warm. And then the next kitten that eats can uh, continue from there. So here's her cute little face. You see she's adorable. And then I'm back with her older brother. And you just want to go gently you see, once he realizes that I'll try to feed him, he, he goes all on his own. When they get to this size, um, which is a little bit larger, I like to support their bellies. Because normally kittens would lay down and nurse from their mother, but since they can't really do that, you can see that he likes to have his paws up on my hands, or, or with the other kitten, she likes to put her paws on the bottle. So that sort of leaves their middle hanging, so you can just put your hand under there and support them. And he wasn't nearly as hungry as she was, so he's already done. So just to recap, with the kittens, you want to make sure that you keep the food warm when you feed it to them. Make sure it's not too hot by checking on your wrist. You want to make sure that you're helping them go potty at every meal. Sometimes they will also need to poop, so you'll have to clean that up. Um, you also need to keep them warm. I suggest putting um, whatever you're keeping them in, you want to keep a heat pad underneath one half so that they can move to the cool side if they get too warm. And keep an eye on the temperature. Don't let them get too hot because they have no way of regulating their own temperature. So once they reach about three or four weeks, um, they usually can keep themselves warm, but personally I still keep something warm in there with them so that they can get warm if they need to. Even though they can regulate their own temperature, they can still get too cold if the, you know, if the air around them is cold. And also, the kitten's age will determine how often they need to eat. Kittens typically need to eat every two hours until they're about three weeks old. Um, then you can feed them every three hours and then at four weeks old every four hours and so on. Um, and again, the kittens will sort of tell you when they need to eat as well. A lot of times I have kittens that maybe they need to eat more often or maybe they need to eat every, you know, three and a half hours instead of three hours, whatever it is they want. So uh, keep an eye on that. And this is just a video of a couple kittens that I had. Uh, the little floofy one is one that I bottle fed and the other one is her sister. So just because I ran out of footage of kittens nursing. So um, I'll try to keep you guys updated with more videos of kittens as I get them in. Um, and as I'm able to make them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful to you. If you have any questions at all, please leave them down below. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Uh, this is just meant to be a quick guide. And thank you for watching. Have a great day.